in the first part uh, we actually constructed this state table from the given sequential uh, circuit uh, that was that is shown right here and uh, now we will see how we can actually compress this state table uh, for determining the state diagram from it and this is quite interested uh, let's see since we are having the two flip-flops so the possible states uh, for the flip-flop of this flip-flop could be they can be either 0 both can be 0 they both can be either 0 or 1 1 0 or finally they both can be at the 1 1 state here we don't need to mention actually either they are for input x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 0 all right now we can see in the state table fine we are having the value of the next state corresponding to when x is equal to 0 or when x is equal to 1. So, I have actually made a separate column for x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. And uh, we, uh, I'll just write down the next state value right here. You can determine the value of the next state or now you can map this table into the compact form like being in the 0 0 state when x is equal to 0 fine the next state value is equal to 0 0 similarly while you are in the 0 0 state and input x is equal to 1 you are in the 0 0 state but now input is equal to 1 so the next state is 0 1 so being in 0 0 state and input x is equal to 1 the next state is equal to 0 1 right now if you are in the 0 1 state and input is equal to 0 the next state is again 0 0 and if you are in 0 1 state and input is equal to 1 the next state is 1 1 so just fill the column that way and you will get the next state value for x is equal to 0 like this and uh, for the x is equal to 1 you will have 1 0 and 1 0 while the output function can be written in the same manner when the present state is 0 0 and input is 0 output is equal to 0 and when the present state is 0 0 and input is equal to 1 output is still 0 so you can mention the value of the output function in the same manner once you have written or represented the state table in this format it is very simpler to draw the state diagram from it uh, so here the possible states are 1 2 3 and 4 Let's draw the circles for the states 0, 0, 0, 1. You can draw the circles in any order 1, 0 and finally 1, 1. This is the beginning of drawing the state diagram. Now just look at the procedure. When you are in the 0, 0 state and input is equal to 0, fine. The next state is 0, 0. So it will loop back to itself. And first we will write this input and corresponding output is written by the backslash and after the okay now similarly when you are in the 0 0 state and input x is equal to 1 the next state is 0 1 so you will move to the next state 0 1 and input was equal to 1 then backslash and output was equal to 0 fine first we write the input and then we write the output okay so we are done with this state now let's move to the next state being in the 0 1 state when the input x is equal to 0 the next state is 0 0 so it will go back to this state for the input 0 but at this moment the output is equal to 1 okay similarly when you are again in the 0 1 state you will move to the 
one one state for input x is equal to one. Okay, and output is equal to zero at the moment. The next state is one zero. When you are in the one zero state and input is equal to zero, you will go back to the zero zero state, and the output at that moment is equal to one. If you are in the one zero state and input is equal to one, then you will loop back. to the same state input was equal to 1 while output is equal to 0 and finally when you are in the 1 1 state for the input x is equal to 0 you will loop back to 0 0 state okay and the output function is equal to 1 and when you are in the 1 1 state and input is equal to 1 the next state is 1 0 and the output at that function for the input x is equal to 1 is equal to 0 hence using the state table we will draw the state diagram like that now let's see what is the interpretation of this state diagram uh, fine so as long as you can see the input is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 the output function is actually equal to 0 okay and if in the string of the inputs when x is equal to 0 or the first zero is detected the output function is equal to 1 so let me be more elaborative about it as long as input is equal to 1 1 1 1 1 this is basically an input sequence let's say this is our input sequence and here it's like that so being in the 0 0 state if we encounter the first input as 1 we will go to check the next sequence of the input or the next bit generating output is equal to 0 again if the input is equal to 1 the output will remain equal to 0 and we will check the next sequence of the input being in this state if again the input is equal to 1 then output is equal to 0 and the next sequence of the input is tested fine so being in this state if the input is equal to 1 then the output is equal to 0 and it will remain in that state and again it will check for the next input now if 0 is detected then it will produce the output first time equal to 1 so as long as the input remains equal to 1 this function generates output is equal to 0 but as soon it encounters the first input x is equal to 0 it generates the output equal to 1 okay so this is also called the zero detector circuit zero detector circuit if you have any question related to this topic please drop your questions in the comment sections and like to and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching